Our rules are simple, but the challenge is great. No shoulder pets, tames that can be carried, or typical boss dinos allowed. That means no Rexus, Therizinos, or any other dinos people normally use in these fights. Equipped with official server cap saddles, our 19 contenders will be backed by the commanding presence of a loyal Uteranus providing that extra boost. All competitors will go into battle with food to provide a healing effect. Herbivores will have plenty of sweet veggie cakes, and carnivores and omnivores will have cooked meat. It's important to note that the tames in this series aren't typically used during boss battles because of the amount of mutations you need to make them competitive. But all the dinos competing will have around 23,000 health and 1200% melee. This will give them all a fair shot at defeating one of the guardians. It won't always be feasible to reach these stats depending on the dinos I'm using, but I'll let you know the amount of mutations and levels it took in order to reach it. All competitors start out with 50 base health and melee and 40 points and everything else before I apply mutations and experience levels. You can decide on your own servers if the juice is worth the squeeze. Competitors are required to fight the Megapithecus, Broodmother, then Dragon on all difficulties starting with Gamma, then Beta, finishing with Alpha. Their success will be annotated on this scorecard with a pass or fail system. Clearing all the bosses earns them a gold boom medal. Silver is awarded for clearing Beta, Bronze is for clearing Gamma, and the Chunk of Poop is for an unworthy performance. Once all vanilla island creatures are finished, the gold medal winners will test their strength against the Overseer for the finale. Now let's introduce our competitor and see if they have what it takes. Gallimimus. This passive speed demon makes a horrifying shriek and runs away when you approach it. It has a saddle that can carry three people and this baby has got some serious moves. The stats required for this competition were reached with 68 mutations and 80 experience levels. 40 mutations and 70 levels went into health and 28 mutations and 10 levels went into melee. Now let's see if they have what it takes. Green portal time means gamma time and the under Mimuses were ready to haul ass into the Gamma Megapithecus arena and lay down an ass whooping. You'd think these guys would be easy to control since they're so fast, but good lord, the momentum can make it challenging. They struggle to get in close enough to hit, but the silver lining here is they actually try, which is a huge step up for most of the competitors that we see. The Gala Gang doesn't have a super powerful attack, and the attack speed leaves a lot to be desired, but all in all, the consistency of landing shots is nice to see. They're able to chip away at the Gamma Megapithecus' health pool, put them down, and earn their first pass. The Gamma Broodmother is up next, and the Maraud and Mimuses do a solid job of surrounding her. Maybe I'd finally be able to see Alpha Broods again. It's been a while, and my loins are raging for that thick spider booty. The Gamma Broodmother isn't that difficult of a fight, but it truly is surprising how much of a gap there is between the Megapithecus and Mama Broods on all difficulties. The fight takes a lot longer than I'm comfortable with, and that signals two things right away. One, these speedy boys weren't going to beat the Alpha Broodmother. And Beta Broods was probably not happening either, but either way I'd be fighting off a boatload of Brood Babies if I wanted the Undermimuses to perform halfway decently. Gamma Broods is no match for the Undermimus, and they earn their second pass. The Gamma Dragon is up next, and you know what? I'm impressed. We typically have a lot of trouble landing shots in the Dragon Fights. There's just something janky about the hitbox. The Gallimimus is actually halfway decent at hitting the Dragon, and it makes me wish they had a higher damage output. Because, well... I know the fights would be winnable, but it's never fun when it takes forever. There were a few instances where they would overshoot the spot I would tell them to move to, which was kind of expected since they're so fast, but it does make some of them get some unnecessary shots of fire from the dragon. Overall, they perform well, put the Gamma Dragon down, and earn another pass, clearing the Gamma stage. The blue portal is up and the under Mimus is charged into the Beta Megapithecus arena. The question has come up before and it's guaranteed to come up again but creatures like the Gallimimus can equip the cart from the Bob's Tall Tail series. This actually adds more armor to the creatures, and it's a pretty huge deal. For the time being, I won't be adding that since we're still kind of in the process of wrapping up the island creatures. After I do the island finale and move on to the sillier things and some of the scorched earth creatures, then we can take a look at the cart for sure. The Beta Megapithecus puts up a decent fight, but he's way too underpowered and gets put down. The Undermimuses earn another pass. Beta Broods is up next, and she must have heard that I missed her older sister. She's always trying to get in the way of our love and to steal me away from Alpha Broods. She says she has feelings for me, but I know deep down, she's full of shit. She just wants my seed. I haven't told the Alpha Brood mother yet, and I'm actually wondering if I should. I hate witnessing family conflicts because they get so awkward and they're like, Oh my god, Boomsmith, do you remember when you shit in Grandma's dishwasher? And you know, I don't know why family likes to bring up old shit. I was only 25 when it happened. I didn't know any better. Anyway, the Beta Broodmother took out the Undermimuses rather quickly, and once Commander Yutsu slaughtered, I made my way to her backside to throw knuckle sandwiches at her fart box.
but she killed me before it could be effective, and the Undermimus is her first set of fails. Even though the Gallimimus is an herbivore, don't underestimate their roar. I know it's more like a shriek, and you may think this fight is bleak, because it will probably take a week. It's a tough fight with the Beta Dragon, but sit in your chair and grab a flagon of delicious brews, whichever you may choose, beer, maybe wine, or bourbon if you'd rather. Behold, Commander Utes and the Undermimus is standing so true. If you like this content, then go become a member or a patron, because I love you. The Undermimus puts up a hell of a fight. Their attack is weak, but they get it right. Unfortunately, it doesn't last all night. The dragon eventually falls. The Undermimus has beat his ass, so pull up that scoreboard and give this crew a pass. Red Portal time is a special time, because that means we're dealing with a competitor that could potentially beat an Alpha boss. First up is the Alpha Megapithecus, and speed meets speed in this fight, as the Monkey Man and the Undermimus tear ass all over the arena. They're able to land some okay shots, typically competitors struggle a bit with hitting the Alpha Megapithecus due to his knockback, but the Gallimimus uses its speed to quickly dart back into the fray. The Alpha Megapithecus actually kills a few of the Undermimuses, and truth be told, he probably could have ended this for them if he had another 100,000 health, but he wishes he was that special, and the Undermimus is on a pass. The Alpha Dragon is up next, and my biggest concern going into this one was running out of time. I pointed it out before, but in case you missed it, there's no longer a timer up top. The timer in the boss arena is only on multiplayer, and since I'm doing my Scorched Earth series on my server, I had to move the boss battles over to single player, so we don't get a timer. Don't worry though, I'm keeping track, and in fact, the Undermimus did actually put down the Alpha Dragon, and only had 48 seconds remaining on the clock. At one point, I actually got so bored that when he took off for like the 8th time, I went to the bathroom real quick, and when I came back, Commander Utes was dead, and I was standing in the middle of the arena with my thumb up my ass. You have no idea how mad at myself I would have been if I died too, because that would have been a hell of a lot of wasted time. But either way, they were able to get it done, capping off the night with a pass. Heading over to the scoreboard, the Undermimus cleared Gamma, so they earn a bronze boom medal for their efforts. Now that we have finished all the saddled island creatures for real this time, be on the lookout for the finale in the relatively near future. I have to make a snazzy intro with rules, introduce the gold medal winners, and hopefully you guys are all going to enjoy it when it finally comes out. In the meantime, we have scorched earth creatures to test out and a bunch of silly creatures to run through the gauntlet. I appreciate your support and greatly value your feedback, so please hit me up with the comments or hop in my Discord and say hi. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.